smaller than usual but very competitive grid assembled for the Avon Tires Image Oils Intermark Silhouette Series at Brands Hatch at the end of October 2022. This was another prestigious meeting for the CMMCS. This was the annual Formula Ford Festival at Brands Hatch, which is always popular with lots of spectators coming out to watch the various categories. Qualifying took place in wet and slippery conditions as rain overnight and rain in the morning, which continued on throughout the session, would see very tricky conditions for the drivers out on track. So it'll be Steve Burrows taking pole position on his 10th lap just before the rain came down even harder at the end. His fastest time was a 59.332. He was three and a half tenths ahead of Malcolm Blackman in second, followed by the two brothers, Lewis and Daniel Smith in third and fourth respectively. Fifth place would be Mick Robertson in the leading Intermark Silhouette Senior category as well. In his Corrado, he qualified at a one minute 0.751. He was ahead of Colin Smith in sixth. Paul Knight was in seventh, followed by Philip Blackford, John Stewart, Eric Bolton, Scott Abrigliano, Philip Young and Kurt Russell, the 13 qualifiers here at Brands Hatch. The field spread was 6.4 seconds, but that was mainly down to the wet conditions and obviously the drivers towards the top of the standings having more experience in these cars in these conditions. And of course, everyone's here for the racing, so they wanted to make sure they got laps on the board and got into the race. Looked forward to a more competitive race where four, five, six drivers possibly could be competing for the victory. And the conditions were still very tricky for the first race of the day, which saw Blackman burst into the lead with Daniel Smith following him into second spot. Burroughs would hold on to third for the first lap until Lewis Smith then would sneak past two. These four had broken away from Bolton, who had came up into fifth position after a great start. Stewart was next, leading the seniors two in sixth place overall, as Robertson had slid down the tail of the field after some issues early on. Mick then produced a stunning climb through the field, some great overtakes which saw him take 6th position overall to win the senior category after the issues early on which was a great comeback for him. He showed the true pace he's got in that car with him behind the wheel this weekend and it's fantastic to see a great result in his first race of the weekend for him. But the race at the front was starting to hot up. There was a great battle between the Smith brothers at the front of the field. On lap number three, Daniel Smith would take the lead. A lap later, Lewis would appear in front until lap number seven. Then on lap number eight, Daniel was back in the lead as Lewis was starting to drop back with a misfire caused by a failing battery. He still managed to make it to the checker flag, however, that was a great result for him and very important in terms of the reverse grid race later on in the day. At the checker flag, it would be Daniel Smith taking the win ahead of Blackburn, with Burroughs going to third, with Lewis Smith in fourth. Bolton was good for fifth position, with Robertson in sixth, and a great battle for seventh position between Paul Knight and John Stewart. The three senior runners finishing sixth, seventh, and eighth. Not much a gap between them at all, actually. Three seconds between Mick Robertson in sixth and John Stewart in eighth. So a great result there for the three senior runners in the field. It'll be Philip Blackford finishing in ninth position in his Peugeot 206, followed by Colin Smith, who had some troubles today and couldn't quite extract the full pace from his Vauxhall Tigra. It'll be Scott Abrigliano in his 206, finishing in 11th, with Philip Young in a 12th, followed by Kurt Russell in 13th. Malcolm Blackman did have a 10 second penalty for an out of position start, but this didn't thankfully affect his overall result. He was still finishing in second position after Steve Burrows had a tough race dropping back early on and Lewis Smith dropping back with his misfire meant that Malcolm Blackman would keep his second position on the road even with the 10 second penalty. Then we looked ahead to the second race of the day and it'll be Mick Robertson mechanic John kindly pulling out the number nine for the second race grid reverse draw. This promoted Blackford onto pole position and by now the track was dry but the drivers starting at the front had surprisingly chosen to go onto the wet weather tyres because of the incoming rain. This did play out but only after our race. It was an unfortunate decision there for Blackford, Abrigliano and Russell. Their choice was not successful in this first race Possibly, had it been 20 minutes later, they'd have made an excellent call and could have been flying out front. 
But regardless, it was a great start from Robertson who put his Carrada into the lead early on with a very impressive start. Knight also having a good start would move up into second position. But unfortunately, Bolton would pull off early on, grounding to a halt at Druid's hairpin. After a few things didn't go his way early on, he would unfortunately not take part in the majority of this race. Then the quartet of quick drivers from the first race of the day would start closing in on Robertson. It saw Blackman and Smith really charging, putting in impressive lap times and then going either side of the Volkswagen driver into Paddock Hill Bend. For a second, everyone held their breath, but it worked out well, especially for Lewis. He would emerge in the lead. His brother Daniel would also get past along with Steve Burrows, demoting the early race leader down to fifth position at this stage. But he still had done a fantastic job and was obviously looking to hold on to his senior win here. Lewis led until lap number seven when Blackman made his move and now the attention was focusing on the battle for third place as Burrows had now just got past Daniel Smith. Steve had led this spot until lap number 13 when he received a warning flag for exceeding track limits and in a flash it would be Daniel moving ahead once more in a really entertaining battle for the last step on this race to podium. But a great result for Malcolm Blackman, winning once more in his Vauxhall Tigre at Brands Hatch, 2.5 seconds ahead of Lewis Smith, who made a great return to the series after a few events off. His brother Daniel would finish in third position, strongly now cementing his place at the top of the series standings, ahead of Steve Burrows in fourth, had a much stronger second race here. All four of the top runners here today only separated by half a second in terms of fastest lap, which really showed how competitive it is at the front of the field. Meg Robertson, after that fantastic start, would start to slip back, still fifth position on the road, and the leading senior runner was very important for him, so that was a great race victory within his category. It'd be Paul Knight finishing in sixth position, the second place senior runner, then Colin Smith in seventh, followed by John Stewart in eighth, and then in ninth position, it'd be Philip Young completing the finishes, and all drivers that finish would be on the lead lap, the Pace disparity between the top and the bottom wasn't too much actually, around two and a half seconds. So great to see a good close field of cars. Then we did have a few non-finishers. Scott Abrigliano would retire on lap number eight. Kurt Russell on lap number six. And unfortunately, Philip Blackford and Derek Bolton would not make it around the first lap. A big shame for them. In terms of our fastest laps, it would be Malcolm Blackman on lap number nine with a 49.7. And then Paul Knight within the seniors would complete his best lap on lap number seven a 51.1 so a great great event here at brands hatch despite the tricky conditions all drivers handled it very well and had to put on actually some fantastic racing for all of the spectators that were there at brands hatch and we look forward now to the final round of the season with the CMMCS. Both series, all three series, are racing at Brands Hatch over the 12th, 13th November weekend. The Tin Tops and Super Saloons will be on the Saturday, the 12th, whilst the Intermarks will race on Sunday, the 13th of November. So, very much looking forward to seeing who will come out on top there. Some fantastic races here today at Brands Hatch. And we look forward to more entertaining racing for the final round of the season in the middle of November. So thank you all for tuning in. Thanks to all the drivers, teams, competitors, everyone at the CMMCS for putting on a good show and everyone at the BRSCC for helping us put together the event. Take care and we'll see you at Brands Hatch in a month's time. Goodbye. <laughs>